I can see that bullshit from a mile away. See it. You can step my mother about a mile away. Stack it. I got three white bitches like it's powder day. What? Me. Nigga, will you shut the fuck up? What's going on guys, it's your boy that dude McFly and welcome to the 26th episode of Ask McFly Man. It has been quite the journey. Uh, we've seen our highs, we've seen our lows and today I think I will actually answer the question seriously. I know you guys are complaining sometimes in the comment box. Oh my god, why is it always having to be so- Shut the hell up! I don't like being serious. I'm a funny guy, alright? I'm a comedian. This is what I do. So that when I do these things, I like to make them funny and entertaining for you guys. Without further ado, here are the serious answers for the serious questions. Tasha X3 asks, do you like light skin or dark skin girls? I like girls. I don't really, you know, say I like this one or that one. I like to say I like all of them. Like, just together as a group. Y'all y'all the nice. The good looking ones. Olivia Fisico asks, what is your biggest turn on? <sighs> wow, where do I start? I like a lot of things, man. I like, um, I like girls' backs, which is weird, I think. I, th I like girls when they have that indent in the spine. <sighs> Boy! Uh, what else do I like? I like eyebrows on fleek, for sure. I don't know why, I've always noticed eyebrows. I don't know if other guys do, but if it's too, like, like you always look shocked and confused, I, I can't. I can't deal with that. What else turns me on? When a girl can cook some oxtail, that's a turn on. And that's a, that's serious, I'm not even joking. That's a, that's a turn on. Oxtail is, yes. Christian Vasquez asks, do you fucking hate Paul Pierce? Cause I fucking hate that guy, we still the North. Right on my friend, I, the, the dislike and the, the hate that I have for Paul Pierce is, I hate him more than Hitler. I, mean, I said it, I hate him more than Hitler. And again, I don't know Hitler, but from what I've been told, he's not a very nice guy. Lou asks, Kim or Beyonce, Jay-Z or Kanye? I'm going to go with uh, Beyonce, Jay-Z on this one. Yeah, they've done a lot more. A lot more. Hey, Tornea's World asks, what age do you plan on getting married? Uh, I don't really plan on getting married at a certain age. I plan on getting married, just not at a certain age. I don't think that that's something that you could really like pinpoint I don't think that yeah I don't think you really put your finger on that one Avidon Simon asks what would you do if Rihanna could not make a good oxtail Jesus Christ teacher I teach her yep that's what a good husband's for right Sanaa A asks East End Toronto or West End Toronto I'm gonna go with downtown because that's where I live and if I wasn't repping downtown, I'd have to go with Vaughn City Dog, Maple Tiggs, you don't know, shout out Maple High School, we all cheer. Alyssa Mullings asks, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done in your life? Marlisha. Marlisha's probably, yeah. Marlisha's definitely the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. And on a consistent basis, too. <laughs> oh, man. I remember the first time I had to dress like that, and we were in, uh, we were in Yorkdale Mall. And I had to dress like that to go onto the subway. If you guys remember, shit, Toronto people say I had to dress like that to go on the subway. Act like Marlisha on the subway. We didn't tell anybody what we were doing, so it was a packed subway train, and everyone was just watching us. It was it was hell awkward, man. That was my first time in a wig and a baby fat jacket. Fun fact. Sweeta Sweetum asks if you could change anything about your life, what would it be? Let's see, money. Money, money, money. Ass. What do you think of Rihanna's Snapchat? I think that Rihanna is perfect and that whoever the hell that girl is, it's always the one like with the camera. She just needs to shut the hell up. It doesn't even sound like she is Bayesian. It sounds like she's just like imitating Rihanna's accent. That shit's, she just talked too much. I need to hear my baby. Let me see Brian ask. Well, go on, Marlon. Who's your favorite Jamaican person? My favorite Jamaican person. I'm gonna exclude cartel, cause <laughs> obviously. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Oliver Samuels. Many of you guys may not know who this is, but this guy is like, for me anyways, he's like the pioneer of Jamaican comedy. Like he brought it to new heights. He's the reason I even knew Jamaica had a comedy scene. His 
Old stuff is legendary. If you guys have not seen Oliver Samuels play cricket, then I know what tell you. Gold underscore chains 178 asks, Hi, what's your favorite thing about being from Toronto? What about the city makes you proud to be from there? What makes me happy? Well, I was born here. That's one. Um, it's the only home I've ever known. And I just, I just love Toronto. Just, I love the fact that I can indulge in like almost every culture in the world and still stay at home. Like we have literally everyone here and it's not like America where it's like a melting pot and they try to teach you to be American. You know what I mean? Canada promotes that you should be proud of where you're from and, and encourage and promote your heritage and your culture and stuff like that. So like just growing up with different sorts of people and being able to learn from them without even having to travel is a gift and a blessing personally. Kalila Thompson asks, how did you get the scar on your chest? Uh, I actually got it in grade 8. I was in grade 8 and I got chicken pox. I think that's kind of late, personally. I got chicken pox and the shit, as you know, just itches like, uh, just all the time. Like, literally, I was in front of a Bible, I remember at one point. Okay, true story. <laughs> I was in front of a Bible and I had my hand on the Bible just asking God, please, let this stop. And I just itch, 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 and I scratch this one that's on my chest, the scar she's talking about, this one. I itched it, I itched it, I itched it, and it just cut, and you know black people, well some black people, we keloid skin. And that means it just, it, the scar basically just bubbled up and got a little bit bigger, and it just stayed there. I don't mind it, to be honest. I don't, I don't see what the big deal is. Bev Exo asks, what do you feel about non-black people using the N-word? I don't encourage it um, for your own health and safety, but me personally, I, I can't pretend like I really care unless it was said to me in an aggressive way. Like I, th I think if I heard it in a, an aggressive way, which I've, I've never heard someone other than black people say nigger in like an aggressive tone. If I heard it like that, then probably I'd probably get mad. But to be honest, I've never heard it like that. I've heard people say it that weren't black, but I didn't really care, to be honest. And I don't know if that's... I know what the word is about. I know what it contains. I know how loaded it is. I know the history behind it, but I still cannot put a connection there. And I, I don't know if it's because I haven't heard it aggressively, like I said, but I just... I, I don't care. I feel like people should be able to say whatever they want. And that's that's probably because of my comedian mindset, but I don't think you should. There should be a limit on what you can say in this world. True Five Hundred asks, "Do you plan to come to London, England, anytime soon?" I have been planning to come to London, England since I heard of London, England. But just put it that way. Um, any promoters? Anything like that? I have some songs that I can perform out there if you'd like. Uh, bada bada. <laughs> but uh yeah other than that um you know i'm just out here waiting waiting for my Notting hill carnival day and i just recently uh touched up on this grind music why didn't y'all niggas tell me about these guys listen man like skepta big nasty devil man wiley tiny temper temper t whatever the hell their names sick just sick lucinda conte asks where did you get the idea of marlisha uh, well, Marlisha came about, I wanted to do a video on, like, the ghetto ratchet girls in my city that I come across on a weekly basis, um, cause they always, they always talked extremely different, they always acted extremely different, wore things that were just insane, hairstyles that were just, you, you've seen Marlisha. So, I wanted to represent that, I wanted to put that in the character, and I got the idea actually from watching Martin and the whole Shanene thing and how he was able to play both characters and show two sides of, of what he grew up around, you know what I mean? And I think that it was important. I think Marlisha's one of the best characters I've ever created and yeah, I love Marlisha, she's great. Javin McCarthy asks, what's your number one pet peeve about the six? Number one pet peeve about the six is probably that people here do not look to help you up. A lot, a lot of people, some people pretend to help you up, but they always have like another agenda behind that. And I get that that's probably the same everywhere, but I feel like in Toronto, especially as 
at a time like this where we are, you know, finally putting our stamp on the world and, you know, showing we have Drake, we have Tory Lanez, we got multiple people out there doing their thing for Canada. You got Bieber, obviously. And for Toronto, it's like, right now is the time that we should be, like, coming together and trying to work to push everyone forward. But it's still, like, competition. It's just crabs in a bucket. It's just crabs in a bucket, which is very annoying. So that's about it. But I, I, I ain't tripping. Lap Chong asks, Mayweather or Pacquiao? Gotta go with my nigga Manny Mayweather still, you see it? I don't know, I couldn't, I can't pick Pacquiao just because Floyd Mayweather is my type of fighter, my type of athlete, like, I like guys that can talk that talk and then walk that walk, you know what I mean? So, Floyd's been doing that his whole career, obviously, undefeated, and I just, I gotta go with the champ. Amar Shaw asks, if you have to pick four people from the NBA to be on your team, who would you pick? All right, Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, Blake Griffin, and LeBron and Durant, LeBron and Durant. LeBron, I'm gonna have to go with LeBron. He can play multiple positions. Devon L asks, favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber right now, it's always, always changing. Um, I Listen, I watch a lot of YouTubers, okay? A lot of YouTubers. Um, but right now, who's killing me is Chrissy Trula. If you guys have not checked out her page, please do. She is hilarious. I don't know if some of you guys, if you can follow me on Twitter, you've seen us interact. We always getting at each other, but it's all love. Chrissy Trula is hilarious. You guys need to go check her page. She's the most frustrated black woman I have ever seen, and it is, <laughs> it is awesome. Knack 8 ps on a serious note, do you believe people can change? That's deep. I think people can change given the right reasons, like the most extreme reason there needs to be, like near-death experiences make people change, um, losing somebody can make people change, as in like a breakup, something like that, or just a friendship, and um, yeah, I don't know, it's relative, I think there are some people that change and there's some people that don't, and it all depends on who's willing to do so and what they're willing to do it for, you know what I mean? If it's not worth it, then I don't see a lot of people changing. But if it's worth it in their eyes, then the sky's the limit. Well, that's all for this serious shit. Um, if you guys like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you'd like. Uh, we will be right back here next Wednesday. Ask McFly number, what is it, 27? I'm your boy, that dude McFly. Leave your questions in the comment box, and I'll get back to you guys next Wednesday, all right?